Uh, I'm a small order of fries with a few guys of water. Coach Brown is who we're here to see tonight. So if it's okay, Bridget, I'd like to start with Coach Brown, uh, and then I'll pick up whatever pieces are left. Any questions you have? Am I talking too softly? Okay, okay. All right, Coach Brown, you okay with that? Oh, yeah. Excellent. So, everyone, Coach Brown. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for having me here. It is uh, truly an honor. It's a blessing to be your head football coach. Um, what I'd like to do is just kind of give you uh, a state of the program as to where we are, what's going on with us right now. But before I do that, I want to you know, let you all know that without your support and generosity, the support and the experience for our student athletes that we're trying to build wouldn't be possible. So thank you so much for everything that you do for Aggie Athletic Foundation and for our student athletes. So right now we are in the midst of recruiting. <clears throat> Football has become essentially year-round recruiting. It used to be spring and fall recruiting. Now you have spring, summer, and fall with the transfer pool. So we have, over the last several uh, weeks, months uh, exactly, have had several high caliber players to come visit and commit to becoming act, future actors. Uh, really, really talented players. You know, one kid is a four-star, former four-star defensive back who started games at the University of Oklahoma last year. Uh, Another kid is a 6'3", 250-pound defensive end uh, from Liberty. Another kid is a 6'1", 200-pound running back from Virginia Tech. And then we have a couple other kids that are in the pipeline also. So we've been working extremely hard trying to get the kids on campus to show them the best of what a t has to offer. And a lot of those kids are saying, Coach, we want to be a part of what you guys are building there. We also have made it a point to make sure that academics has been at the forefront of everything that we're doing, even with the transfer portal kids. And so I think you'll be very proud of those kids. We are in the midst of our 2024 recruiting class. Our coaches just came off the road. Uh, the recruiting period ended on uh, May 31st. So we've been all over the Southeast trying to find the best and the brightest. We actually had a kid on campus today a 6'5", 240-pound defensive man from Orlando, Florida, who carries a 4.2 GPA. <laughs> and he's being recruited by the types of schools that I believe we need to be competing with. We got a commitment just a few days ago from a North Carolina kid, a defensive back, with a 4.1 GPA, who had offers, and he chose a and T over William and Mary, Richmond, the Naval Academy, Air Force, and Army, and a, a host of other Patriot League schools. So we're recruiting and trying to recruit talented, high academic caliber kids. So through the support of our athletic director, we have more kids on campus right now training in preparation for the season than in recent years. Games are not won and lost in September. It is now where you build that camaraderie, the brotherhood, the systems that you're trying to instill, the strength, the conditioning, all of the things that we're gonna need to uh, hang our hat on during the course of the season. It's being built right now. So our kids are working hard to make the 2023 season, one that everyone will be proud of. Our staff is tremendous. Guys are working hard, they're knowledgeable, they did a tremendous job in recruiting, and we're still recruiting, bringing kids on campus uh, every day to make sure we represent the Aggie family well. So part of this whole transition in college football now is name, image, and likeness, and transfer portal. And my message to every kid and parent that we brought on campus is that we're in the business of 
developing and educating young men. I tell our players all the time, first and foremost, you are here to become an educated man. But through the portal and name, image, and likeness, we are trying to improve the student-athlete experience. We want our kids, when they come to A&T, to say, hey, I had the best. I had the best experience. My coaches cared about me. We ate the right way. We trained the right way. We lived the right way. That everything is on the level of being elite. And I think we're moving the needle in that direction to make sure that a and football, in particular, isn't second to anyone. Okay? So that's kind of where we are. We're excited about the future of the program, the direction that we're going. Got a couple of the spots to fill through the transfer portal. Most of our kids will be here for summer session two, all of the transfer portal students included. And, uh, and yeah, we're just really, really excited to be here and ready to, to turn uh, this into something that you all will be very proud of. So I'll open the floor for questions for anyone that has questions.